47 and I'm exhausted so I'm going to try and wake myself up by doing a little bit of online shopping at P in the Pod because I have a gift card that I need to spend and none of my clothes fit anymore. I'm trying to get up. I have really bad nausea. This is like a really new thing. Well, I guess it's not that new, but it seems to be it seems to be getting worse and worse and worse. So my blood pressure must be really low. Um, which is normal for pregnancy. I'm like on the verge of puking. <laughs> So I'm shipping my rocks box back in this envelope. It's like a prepaid envelope that they give you to return the stuff that you don't want. And this month I'm keeping two things. So far I've only ever kept one thing from my rocks box, but what I'm keeping this month is, and I took the earrings off. They were literally brand new. I think I'm like the first owner, but I took them off the thing because once, once I keep them, I just keep them in the back like this. But these are rose quartz and um, you get like a huge discount if you keep the jewelry they send you in your monthly box. But otherwise, I think it's like $19 a month or something. And then here's the wrappers that I'm keeping. Like say they send you three pieces that you don't like, you can just turn right around and throw them back in this and they'll just, right as soon as they see that you've shipped this back, they'll send you out a new set. And so it's like, I think it's like $19 monthly and they send you three designer jewelry pieces a month that you can wear for as long as you want. And then whenever you want to return them, you just put them back in their little bags and then in the prepaid envelope. And then I just have USPS come pick it up. It was really convenient for me. I do have a code that you can get your first month free if you just want to try it out. Um, and my code I'll put right here across the screen. Look, it's our wedding DVD. Yes, guys, I'm going to be able to upload this on our anniversary on May 9th. So you guys can see our wedding highlights. I'm so excited. Is that your worm that I just put away? Yeah, that's your worm, huh? <laughs> I just put this away. And she goes and gets it out of the thing. I asked Nick to please put all these electronic that, electronics that he drug downstairs back upstairs all the way in the crawl space. So now, pregnant me is going to have to put these in a box and carry them up there all the way up these stairs because our cleaning team is coming today. Hashtag blessed. And I don't want to leave this here. I want it out of their way. So I'm going to go find a box now. There's no box, so it's going in this bag. This bag is probably going to break. I am not putting this in a crawl space. This is going in Nick's office because that's what he gets. You put it in the crawl space. Ugh. Oh, I can't leave it in the middle of the floor like that. Do you guys think I can make this bone into Zell's toy basket? So I was putting some socks away from Skyla, for Skyla, and you probably noticed that I sound like I have toilet paper in my nose, and that's because I do. I have a bloody nose. Oh, look, it's all over my hand and these socks. Crap. Ugh, pregnancy bloody noses suck. Adding more stuff to the hospital bag. Can't wait to organize this and show you guys everything. Yay! Okay, so I'm out of breath and I still have toilet paper in my nose, so I'm sorry that I sound like this, but I'm going to take this big, where is it, I have a big wet bag in here from Itsy Ritzy, yeah, this big wet bag I think, and I'm going to use it, 
yeah. I'm gonna use it to put like all my toiletries in for the hospital and put it in my hospital bag for now. Wow, I have a lot more than I thought. So maybe I'll have to use like these and my smaller ones too, but we'll start with this because I don't want these to accidentally leak in my bag, you know, until I'm ready to pack it up. Okay, bigger stuff in here, little baby stuff in here. Yay, these are gonna be so cute. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. in full mom style today I've got my mom bun rocking my mom bun wearing my rose gold earrings from Project Dahlia on Etsy a t-shirt that Nick brought home from me when he went on like a work retreat thing and I have a maternity tank underneath here gray one because if you try and wear non maternity tanks whenever you're clearly maternity size they don't cover your bump and then I'm wearing my new motherhood short these. Hello, big bump. And yes, I'm wearing mom flops, but these mom flops are very special to me. They are fit flops, and fit flops, I don't know if you know, they sell them in Nordstrom, or you can buy them online at fitflops.com. The whole thing about fit flops is that they align your body, they're really good for your joints, and they just are so comfortable. Like, you could wear a pair of them all day, and your feet would feel amazing, and like your ankles, and your knees, and your body. So if you're pregnant or if you have like aches and pains or you have any joint issues, buy a pair of Fit Flops. They're amazing. And I just ordered another pair because I have my black ones and now I need ones that I can wear with like brown tones. Oop, falling over. I filmed what I was having, but it's wild rice, avocados, shallots, pepper, sriracha, red wine vinegar, and scrambled egg. And it is delicious. And Skyla is kicking so much. She's putting a lot of pressure right here. Like it still doesn't hurt or anything, but she keeps like pushing out right here harder than she ever has. It's crazy. Now I'm going to enjoy my lunch with like probably some vlogs, watch some vlogs or maybe some Netflix because I have a very, very busy day of Yeti glitterizing ahead of me. These are frozen mango chunks, um, they're organic. These are the best snack in the world. So I'm having these as a little dessert. I barely even ate half of my, that lunch I just showed you. For some reason it doesn't taste as good to me anymore. And then my smart water. Can I get a grande ice latte with one pump of the caramelized honey syrup, please? Is it a grande ice latte with one pump of the honey caramelized syrup? Yes, please. Anything else? That's it. 
we decided to leave the house again because the cleaning team got there and um, when they got there like they just seemed really like it was kind of just an awkward situation and I feel like they just wanted to have the house to themselves to clean and I don't blame them um, and it just was kind of like an awkward situation because I was there by myself Duchess is like losing it I don't understand She's like loving it. She loves being in the car. Anyway, so I just wanted to get out of the house and let them do their thing for a little bit and um, take Zell and Duchess out of the house and just get out of their hair. So I just, I didn't know really where to go. I just knew that we were gonna have to go somewhere. You guys heard my Starbucks order. I literally, I like this is the first place that I thought of, of where like I wanted to go. Um, since we were gonna be out of the house for like an hour or so Zell's been doing the weirdest thing to me and it's actually so adorable when you think about it So I got my shot right here. You can see the band-aid ripped off my spray tan I got my shot right there for Tdap, which is the whooping cough shot that my doctor gave me yesterday Some doctors give them in the third trimester, but the old-fashioned doctors don't give them until like the baby's born but my doctor said that if she gave me the Tdap now that it could possibly um, pass on a little bit of immunity to Skyla so she wanted to go ahead and give it now well Zell has been licking my arm is that not the sweetest thing like how would she have any idea that I got a shot I guess the smell is different she can smell that there's like a shot or maybe a blood or something there's not really any blood there um, so I don't know what she can smell, but it's so adorable. She's been like licking my arm, like trying to help me. And she's been like nosing it and licking it, like trying to nurse my wound. Isn't that so sweet? Look at this psycho. There's birds out there. Duchess, are you nuts? Like you're nuts. We went back to the house and they were still there. So... I decided to come get, well, my intentions were to get a snack. And then I saw the cheeseburger on the menu at Sonic. They didn't get fries and I didn't get a soda. I know it's still a cheeseburger, but it's better than a cheeseburger plus fries plus a soda. Oh, and this may be the best smell in the entire world. I'm home and I came home to some things in the mail. I got some samples. You always get like three free samples when you order online at Sephora. So I got these samples. This is what I ordered because I couldn't find the magic lash that I really like. This is a full lash serum. Um, I can't pronounce that. <laughs> Shiseido, Shiseido. Anyway, it's from Sephora and this is for your brows and lashes. I'm not going to put it on my lashes until after Skyla's born, but I am gonna be putting this on my brows. Hopefully this will help me grow them in. That's what it's for and it has really good reviews. I got this cake topper, this is from Etsy. Um, our first year anniversary is coming up on May 9th. A lot of you guys know that. And I, I don't know if I'm gonna use this yet because I have another one coming in um, that I might use. I might use them both, but I thought this was really cute. And then I got a Tangle Teaser. Um, I've just heard a lot of stuff um, about this brush. And I'm super excited to try it. This is the brush that I was planning on putting in my hospital bag.
Okay, so that was a 45 minute spin bike workout. This is my bike. It's, um, I think I talked about this last Friday, it's the Swin IC2. Um, I have clip pedals and my shoes have cleats. So they snap in. I just have like a little Schwinn seat cover on it. Um, I work out with two pound weights because I do it like really fast. Um, this is my workout that I ride out. I just bought this mirror to put here. I haven't taken the corners off and Nick bought that TV and we hooked it up to Apple TV. So that is my setup. Gatorade shower time. I really shouldn't be drinking these because they're so high in sugar, but I love Gatorade so much and my doctor kept bringing up drinking Gatorade and I think I should get the G2, but I love, I love it. Orange is my favorite, but this is what Nick bought. So I got stuff to cook tonight and got recipe, got a whole recipe to cook tonight, but Nick didn't want to cook because he didn't want to have to clean. <laughs> And um, so he bought, he got cowboy chicken for us because he didn't get to try it last time. I asked for the white meat, chicken rotisserie, the cucumber salad, and a sweet potato. What did you get? The half chicken and uh, twice baked potato and the beans, ranch beans. It's so yummy. Okay, we're in bed. I'm so tired. I have not been this tired since last night. I'm so exhausted all the time. And Nick just informed me that his friends let him know that um, they're going to be going on a boys trip in August because he is going to need a break by August. Nick. Nick's going to need a break I by August. I said that. Which is hilarious to me that Nick's going to need a break by August. Nick's... Yeah. Nick's going to need a break by August, not the one who's been bearing the child for nine months, not the one who's going to be up in the middle of the night breastfeeding, not the one that's going to have bleeding, cracked, painful nipples. Nick, Nick's going to be the one that needs a break. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys liked Follow Friday. Um, let me know if you liked it better than Foodie Friday. I'll keep doing them this way. And if you like Foodie Friday better, then I can go back to that too, but just let me know. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys on Monday for, I don't know. I don't know what Monday's video is going to be. Maybe I do, maybe I'm just spacing it. Good night.